Welcome to Unstoppable Women Entrepreneurs. I'm Jane King, and with me is Rhonda Swan, who is also an Unstoppable Women Entrepreneur. And we've got with us another woman today, Kate McKay, high performance coach, uh, consultant for men yes. in high level positions. Uh, you help corporate teams build confidence and work best in their organization. So, welcome, Kate, and tell us more about your work and um, what you're doing exactly when you're coaching men with these corporations. Yes, I love that. That's a great question. Uh -huh. So I work predominantly with individuals and corporations and I, as a high performance coach, a lot of times they come to me worried about, concerned around productivity and profitability. Mm. That's normally what people, you know, I'm not feeling productive. Our company isn't profitable, especially during these times. Mm -hmm. And so what I found is the high performance habits, there are six, one of them is is productivity. So we have to start with getting clear on what our message is and also our energy. Like how are we using our energy, physically, emotionally, and mentally? These are all key components. Our personal development and our professional development actually have to be matched. We can't just measure our performance by how successful we are. We also have to look at our personal development. And if there's a gap, our success is only gonna be at that middle ground. So we really have to look at those habits. It's science-backed outcome-based and the system really works and it's very exciting to see the outcome. Interesting. Love it. I love that. Yeah. Wow. Like think about the companies that are going to change because of your work. Mm. Now I do know that you recently launched a book, right? Claim Your Inner Warrior. And that does focus on men, part of the work that you're already doing right now in corporations. Mm -hmm. However, I think this one's a bit more special. Can you talk a bit about your book and, and how that is being used in your work mm -hmm. every day? I appreciate you asking that. Yeah. So Claim Your Inner Warrior, it's especially for men, and it's dedicated to the warriors out there. And one particular warrior is my son, William who uh, passed away in 2017. Ooh. So uh, as his friends describe it, he ascended on his own accord. He took his own life mm -hmm. in 2017. So after that, you know, it's like, what is that meaning in my life after losing a child and going through that grief process? And I was writing a column and I wrote an article about how men express grief and loss. And I was so moved by the number of men that reached out to me that said, Kate, you talking directly to me. Ooh. And I was like, oh, and I just felt like that is the reason why I'm here. I'm here to help men embrace their warrior. And that means personally understanding, giving them language to their emotion. Men are different in the way they communicate. And I believe that we need to validate that. And I celebrate that. It's a huge part of my work. I'm very fortunate to do what I do. I'm deeply grateful. Wow. More than ever. That's mm -hmm. really beautiful, Kate. Love and, it. You know, it's, you talk so much about confidence, right, in men, and you wouldn't normally think that maybe men have that confidence issue. Why is it that you focus so much on confidence, and where is that coming from, and how does that affect the productivity and the, the you know, production in these men that are that you work with? Well, confidence is essential. So people often will say, Kate, how are you, how, you know, how can you be so confident? And it's because I failed brilliantly. Mm. I had so <laughs> much failure, right? Anyone resonate, right? So, but what are the lessons that we've learned yeah. in our failure? And yeah. that takes courage to understand the lesson and get up. And as Les Brown says, one of my favorite motivational speakers, when life knocks you down, make sure you fall on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. And it really is that power of resiliency. And confidence and competence have a direct link. I mean, that's the psycho um, psychology term of the competence confidence loop. So the more confident we have, the more competent we are. And that comes over in all areas of our life, in our performance in business and our intimate relationships in all areas. So it's exceedingly important. Confidence is king. And if we can, and that is, you're 100% right, men oftentimes say, I really want to feel more confident. I'm like, right on, let's go. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Fake it till so, you make it. Yeah, yeah. right? So, yeah. right. <laughs> it, it gives you some confidence if you even pretend like yeah, that. Right. So, so Kate, tell me, are there any challenges in working yeah. particularly yeah. with men? Well, I would say I laugh about that because oftentimes women are like, you work with men <laughs> or you write a book for men? Like people are confused. And so the first thing I say is I was a gym rat. I was in the gym in the 80s when no women were there. I mean, now it's very normal. Like the gyms are, are full of women. But when I first started going into a gym, it was like the 10 to 20%. Mm -hmm. Women didn't lift weights. It was, sh it was shunned. Mm -hmm. And I'm also one of nine kids. I have nine, I'm, uh, five brothers. And so I'm obviously, I'm used to that male energy. Yeah. And I'm comfortable with it. It feels like home, like Home Depot over like, a, you know, a bead <laughs> store. I get anxiety in a bead store. So I'm just used to men. And I, I have to tell you this one short story. I had a friend and I was saying, all right, see you later. And he, and he was going through challenges. And I said to him, I said, I have your back, bud. I have your back. And he looked at me like this. And a couple minutes later, he texted me and said, Kate, 
no woman has ever said, well, I have your back. And I was like, I was like, I was shocked, you know? And it just, that is the reason why I get up every day, is that everyone deserves to be seen. My work is in transformation. I'm committed to helping people be their best in all areas of our life. It's, I'm deeply committed and it's wonderful. And, and the results are massive. High performance is, again, outcome-based. It's science-backed and I absolutely love what Amazing. I do. And it makes a big difference in awesome. people's lives. Thank you so much, Kate. What a great Thanks story. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.